y'all. Do y'all see this? Like, it's time to go. And I'm like, I'm shocked because next semester, I'm going to be leaving, leaving. And that's kind of depressing. But I'm super duper excited. Is you going to go, man? But I'm about to get gas because I have like 54 miles left, you guys. I have nothing left. And yes, and then I'm leaving. I should make it. It's about 12.06. I should be leaving about 12.20. Not even 12.20. It's a gas station right up the street. Don't care how much it is. I usually try and get like the cheapest gas possible. But I'm going to hit some gas station. Fill up with about $20 and get on this road. Like, I can't believe I'm going home. Like, a part of me is excited, but a part of me is sad. Uh, it's always sad leaving him you because it's like I'm leaving college, like I'm leaving my home. Yes, high school friend, like she the shit, like she loyal as hell. I don't know if I can say that on her blog, but I love her and she real as hell. And you can't find a better friend, like period. And put that fan on me because I'm hot and drunk. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brian and Ayo. And today I will be revealing my whole, like, special news or... Well, it's not special, but it's special. So, I don't know if you guys can tell where I am. But I'm in Teddy! I'm in Teddy! Oh! Oh! So basically, I had to come back up here because I have a class that is in person and I thought it was online. And there's no way that I would be able to take this class on person. And in order for me to graduate on time like I would like, um, I have to take this class like I have to. So I had to literally drop everything and come back to Tallahassee. And I'm just thankful that God was able to provide and make a way for me to do this. Um... So, yes, it's about 9, 12, and I have class at 9.45. Um, it's, a, it's a TV news class, so I have to actually go somewhere and get my camera and check out a laptop. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. How about yourself? Where are you from? I am from Virginia. Oh, wow, okay. And I've uh, been here ever since. Mm -hmm. uh, here. When your battery needs charging, mm -hmm. there's a little compartment back here. Put that in there. Put one, this end, in there. Mm -hmm. Put this one in the wall. Okay. Make sure your you know battery stays on the uh, camera itself. Okay. Okay. Your microphone is in here. Your XLR cable is in there. Okay. All that stuff that you would need. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I just checked out the camera and the tripod. Now I'm trying to figure out where class is. Huh? No, girl, I just got this Tallahassee. I just checked it out today. Oh. Yeah. Y'all, I don't even think I have class today. My group doesn't meet today. We meet Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah, no class, so I can go home. But I got my tripod, got my camera. We're good. We can finally start. I need to go get a uh, laptop though. Okay, you guys, so I just left from my long sister's house. I am on my way to my interview. I'm about nine minutes away. I will get there um, just in time to just kind of like, yeah. So I printed off my resume. 
okay thanks to my last sister um me and her will be hanging out pretty later like later on so that'll be cool um yes wish me luck this will be my first time actually possibly getting a job in Tallahassee I did do some interviews y'all remember when I had like some job interviews but they literally went nowhere so I'm just praying that this gets somewhere because trying to get a job in Tallahassee for some reason is really really hard for me like I've never really had trouble getting a job so when I never got callbacks from the jobs I did get interviews with I just I gave up because I'm like okay at this point it's the time from God he doesn't want me working he just wants me to focus on my studies so at this time since I'm only doing um school part-time I have all this time during the day why not make some decent Good morning you guys so today is Tuesday and we're about to get ready to go to class for real this time um I ain't go to class yesterday as y'all know so I'm going today and I'm excited about it so yeah we're going to class today I'm gonna try to bring you guys to class with me too Y'all listen that y'all heard it. She's so fine, y'all. But she comes class with me too, y'all. But yeah, so we are going to class. Huh? If I'm going to class, everybody going to class. So yeah, it's nine o'clock, nine oh six. My class not until nine forty five, I believe. So I'll be mad early. But that's a good thing because come I ain't even going to manifest it, but come a few weeks from now, watch I be getting up at 9. And I'm trying not to do that because I like the little free time, a little extra time I get by getting up early. But yeah, we finna go to class, y'all, so I'm going to see y'all when I get to campus. Drag and drop editing, right? Um, it goes across most formats. Some of them have some different areas, but we'll go over it. And there's the final cut to a line, right? You get, in Final Cut Pro, you, you can do everything four different ways. <laughs> and all of a sudden, when you all start to edit this, if I'm starting tomorrow, like you're starting tomorrow, I can mess around and spend 60 hours cutting one package. Because I'm just trim, you won't have to use that. Three down here, uh, you really won't use this. This is more of a color, changing the lighting and try to brighten something up. We're walking to the bottom of the road, they've asked, they kind of approached us and said to stop there, stop there. We kind of continued walking and then they approached us and said, what do you have for me? I told them I don't really have anything for you, blah, blah, blah. And he took out a knife and put it to my neck. And that's when I gave him my phone and then he one of his mates put a knife to one of my friends and next and they took his chain and his phone as well. The area at one point in time was known as one of the most dangerous areas of London. After revisiting the area, the real question is, does the murder mall still deserve its name? I spoke with past resident Geraldine Miller and she speaks on how the neighborhood has grown. It's definitely got better. I think there's this, what do they call it again, gender difference to what it used to be. Currently, the area has changed drastically. Clapton was known exclusively for black-on-black -black crime. The Clapton area has improved greatly over the past few years. There has been a 10% increase in diversity of the citizens living in the area. Property value has risen, and an average flat is priced at over 500,000 pounds. Over the past few years, the Clapton housing rate has gone up to three times the amount. Also, the crime rate has dropped up to 34%. Authorities say that Clapton has come a long way from what it once was. This is Giselle Thomas reporting for News 20 at 5 from Clapton in London, England. Which we're practicing Thursday. Okay, um, but could we also, like, if we have, like, a microphone at home, like a, like a... I wouldn't do it because, again, it's not, it's not a professional room. I mean, we've equipped those rooms, soundproofed them for very good sound quality. Like that. Yeah. Yes. So I have the stimulus for restaurants, uh -huh. and I started to do BJ's, but they hung up on me. So I was going to try the Iron Daisy, um, speak with manager, maybe an employee, but I don't know who else is for stimulus it. in terms of how they're using it, or they have they used it? Or is it too late? I think. Oh, or is it too late? Yeah. Meaning that those that's closed? Yeah. Right. 
like uh, what's the Chi Chi's or whatever it is right up here on Appalachian Parkway. Mm -hmm. It's just sitting there, beautiful as it can be, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Right, so if they're closed. Well, it's great people. Right. <laughs> I know that the Iron Daisy, they closed down when. It's a ton, um, there's a list of them on the Tallahassee Democrat. They, they, these, are, these are places that close, they're not coming back. Okay, so as far as officials, who should I? Well, who do you think? Who deals with restaurants or businesses in a city? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to look to research that. Too. Okay. <laughs> There's an organization that deals with businesses. Matter of fact, in Tallahassee, we have two. We have one, we have one totally dedicated African American business. Okay, you guys, so I'm back in the J School building. My professor is about to. I'm here, Jones. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's finna show me how to use the camera. So, yeah. These always stay up on zero dB. Mm -hmm. So input one means your audio coming into one. You shouldn't have to do anything with this. You shouldn't have to do anything. This is your natural on the pole. Yeah, he showed me that. Yeah, other than that, you don't need it on. guys so i might look like a freaking crazy person um and if you notice my back seat please ignore it you guys please ignore it i have a lot going on back there i know um also excuse my hair just excuse me all together so you guys basically i have a lot to do today so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me in doing so so as you guys saw i just came from learning how to kind of like work the camera for my uh class <sighs> so just around a rundown of what i have to do this week so today's tuesday and i just got to tallahassee today i did miss a week of class um and this is the type of class where you don't want to miss class but due to me having to come all the way home i had to miss a week of class um i had to literally drop everything and come to tallahassee but it's fine now because i'm back and um i don't know if i already gave you guys a rundown of the class that i'm taking hold on i know i don't have on my seatbelt but i'm literally going like right here y'all um i don't know if i already gave y'all a rundown of the class that i'm taking but it's called tv news and for those who are looking to be a broadcast journalism student, like I highly suggest that y'all watch my videos because I am gonna bring you guys along with me in this journey. But um, I know that when I was watching videos for um, this major, I really didn't come across many, but it's a lot, you guys. Like he's already assigned us our first package and my package is on restaurants um receiving stimulus checks and if it's kind of like too late for for restaurants to receive them being because some of them already closed down so my job y'all it's a lot my job is to first of all do the research um conduct the interview with people regarding my topic um like doing the reaching out setting up the interview when I get to the interview, I have to record it, and yeah, so that's why I have to, you know, figure out how do I work the, am I in the right section? No, I'm not. That's why I have to figure out how to work the camera, because I'm going to have to, you know, do all that my, on my own. So after that, I have to, uh, oh shoot b-roll which is basically like 
you know when you watch a news story or watch the news and like say i'm interviewing someone and i get like cars passing by on the road or something um that's basically what that is um i have to shoot b-roll on my own which is what i'm gonna do today to get that out the way um i also thank god i have a car for that as well um i'm showing that today and then after that you have to put all these clips together and edit them in Final Cut Pro. Now, a lot of people may think I I will be good with that simply because I have a YouTube channel. If this is employee parking, where do I park? Anyway, yeah, they think that because I have a YouTube channel, you know, I'm I'm gonna be great. But the thing is, I use iMovie on my phone at that. I don't use iMovie or Final Cut Pro on a laptop. So he showed us that today, as you guys seen earlier. Um, and then. After you put the clips together, you have to write your own script. Now that I was also unaware of, so I had to figure out how to write an entire script for a, a news package. Like, that's a lot to do on your own. Like, you are one man band. Like, you don't have nobody doing this for you. Like, you have to do all of this yourself. So this is very much stressful, and this is only one package. Mind y'all, we have to do uh, package two and three next week. And then it's just a matter of like figuring out what the heck you're gonna like do a package on so that's what stresses me out the most on top of all of this and i am saying all of that to say your girl is about to do therapy like no kidding i just found out that famu offers free therapy or counseling service to students <laughs> okay you guys so my sd card is secured uh I think now I'm just going to go ahead and put the SD card into the camera. So, okay, so now we're going to put the SD card in. He told me to put it in right there. Now we are to look up places for B-roll, which is what I told y'all about earlier. So I looked online and this this is what came up on the Tallahassee Democrat. Um Let's try this uh, this cafe right here. <sighs> so you guys, of course, this is harder than I thought it would be. I thought this was gonna be the easiest part, which is basically shooting the B-roll. I still have not found anywhere um, that has like at least a restaurant that's closed down and says like.
now I'm home and I'm trying to reach out to someone like an official to interview. Um, I spoke with a restaurant that I could possibly speak to because they were affected during COVID-19. Um, they actually closed down at some point due to some of the employees um, testing positive for COVID. So I was just going to sit them down and ask them a few questions about how uh, the close the closing affected them and um, if they're looking forward to receiving a stimulus for the restaurant, if so, how would that be beneficial? Um, just, you know, a few things. But now I'm trying to find, like, an official. And an official would be somebody who kind of, like, is more so on the upper side. Like, for instance, I'm trying to reach the National Restaurant Association. Um, I've tried to reach the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association, like, I just have to reach out to one of these organizations um, and see if I can speak to someone regarding um, the rest of my team in Tallahassee receiving. And nobody's getting back with me. I've called several people. Only one picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will make sure to keep you guys updated. Um, and I'm going to try to get this vlog up because we need to be putting out vlogs. A lot of you guys have been DMing me the closer that it gets to fall. A lot of you guys have like a lot of questions regarding like housing and other stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to get some videos up. But that was like my little news that I had as well. Like I'm, you know, I'm back. So, I know this will be interesting because last summer I was home. So, this summer I'm in Tallahassee for a while. So, gonna see how it goes but i'll keep you guys updated i love y'all and i will see y'all in my next video